I want us to touch base on the subject continuing irrespective of the challenges you're facing. Regardless of what you're facing, let's be honest, life goes on. So no matter what it is that you are facing, you have to find a way, you have to find the willingness to keep going. Because life will not only give what we want or what we need. There's some bad things, there's some negative things that will happen. We're not in control over every, anything, basically. So you have to fortify yourself whichever way you can. I use prayer, I use meditation, I use breathing exercises. I'm training my mind always to stay in the positive mode. So whatever it is that you can do to fortify your, yourself so you can stay strong. At this juncture, people are wallowing in so much negativity. We are asking you not to give in, not to give in to the powers that are surrounding us that we have no control over that keep people in low estate people are going into depression because of the season the times we're in we have come as born for victory to say keep strong keep believing in god keep believing in the source whatever you call the source whatever it is to you stay firm know that this too will pass. Situations come and go. So this very situation will come and go. So stay put. Stay positive. Don't let anything or anyone make you feel depressed. Do not feel sorry for yourself. Don't pity yourself. Focus forward. Because backward we aren't going. We are going forward and we can only Go forward with the right mindset. A positive mindset, it's something one can cultivate. A positive outlook, it's something you can cultivate. As a young girl in South Africa, I was in situations that weren't favorable, but I always put it to myself that whatever it is that I put my mind to do, I knew that I will accomplish it. I remember vividly when I was planning to go to the UK. I was in a mess because I have just lost my mother and I didn't see the reason to remain in South Africa with all the memories with her and stuff like that. Then this is how my trip to the UK came up, came about. This is the only way I realized that I can find myself back. Because if you have lost any of your loved ones, you can, you know how it feels. You lose a part of you when you lose your loved ones. So I told not too many people what I was planning. And somebody said, you know, to live in London, you need so much money, Jacqueline. I saw beyond all these things. I said to myself, Jacqueline, you will go to the UK. I did not see all the obstacles, all the hindrances, all the things that were before me, the visa that was necessary, the money that I needed to the, of course you could not compare the rent to the pound. I didn't even want to go there. Monetarily, I knew that if I had to look at my bank account, I was definitely going to stop myself. So I lived a life of resilience while I was still in school. I trained my mind that all things are possible. We can do all things. It is possible. It's a pity people always see the negative side of things. And this is where people get depressed. 
people get stuck in life. But I'm here to encourage you that everything that I share with you, I have gone through it. I know what it is to be without money. I know what it is to be homeless. I know what it is to not to have anybody encouraging you, anybody helping you. But it's not about sitting in your corner and pitying yourself and having a pity party. We have everything within ourselves to keep going because life is a journey. It's not a destination. And as you take a journey, as you are in the journey of life, you have to be in the understanding that since it's a journey, there will be things along the way that might not be favorable to you. There, there's a road that can be a bit flat and there's a road that is full of gravel, rocks, it's stony, it's rocky road and there's a road that is slippery. So life is like that. We have to know that no matter the matter, there is no tribulation, there is no situation, there is no challenge, there is no problem as you like to use the word uncommon to man. From the generations of our forefathers Abraham, if you believe, there has been challenges in life and people got on with it. I don't want to sound cold by saying get on with it, but it's the reality, it's the truth, get on with life. I want you to cultivate this resilient spirit. Once you are resilient, you will step into a place where you know that nothing can stop on your way. Nothing can hinder your progress. Nothing can stop you. You become unstoppable. And the habit of hanging around or Staying with positive people. Look for people of similar mindset. People who are moving forward. People who are positive. People who encourage you. People who strengthen you. People who want to achieve great things in life. Other than that, you can put yourself in trouble with negative people. So my advice is that irrespective of what you're going through, you might be sitting there and saying, oh, Jacqueline, you don't know what I'm going through. I don't necessarily want to know what you're going through because we all are going through one thing or the other. But from a compassionate heart of a human being, I would like to say to you, whatever it is, whatever pain whatever lack, whatever limitation you're passing through at this point, you can make it. You can rise high above all of it. The spirit of humanity cannot be quenched. Human beings are so powerful. It's a pity we don't know how much power we possess. The engine that the universe has given us, it's capable of achieving and accomplishing everything whatsoever you put your mindset to achieve you can achieve i made it to the uk 2009 did i have all the money my friends were asking me i will need no i did not know one person here i am in turkey i didn't know anybody the seed I'm planting in your heart is that be resilient. Don't always look for easy. Easy come, easy go. And life has not promised us easy. Without storms in life, without turbulences, without challenges, we cannot grow. Growth doesn't come in comfortability. Growth and comfortability, they don't stay in the same address. My amazing viewers, 
the life that we are living today needs you to be strong. You need to be strengthened internally and externally. You need to work on fortifying yourself. And unfortunately with today's life, with technology, people aren't patient. There's one virtue that we also need. This virtue will see us through whatever season, the night season, the day season, the stormy season, the virtue of patience. When I was younger than I am now, I struggled with being patient. And the disadvantage of not being patient, you can lose amazing things. I challenge you to cultivate the spirit of resilience. Be patient. Be strong. Don't rely on people. You'll be disappointed. Every ingredient for your success is in you. Whatever it is that is needed for your success, for your breakthrough, for your manifestation in this 2021 henceforth, it is within you. It is for you to sit down and dig within the minds of your spirit, the mind of your soul. The universe gave you everything that you need to succeed on this earth while you're still on this earth. Do not be a pessimist and understand one thing. The universe does not owe you anything. Everything you need to carry on in this life, you came holding it in these fists. As we know that when a baby is born, they come with the first clenched. All the beautiful things they bring in for fellow humanity, the gifts, the blessings, the love, the kindness, the compassion, they are inside this fist. So I pray and I hope that we will stop looking from outside and we will begin to look internally. All your success is internally, whether it's financial success, emotional success, social success, whatsoever success you desire, it is within you. Learn to appreciate yourself. Self-love is crucial. Understanding of yourself. Do some introspection. Don't be moving with anything and everybody. Don't let every wind push you forward, push you sideways. Sometimes you need to be still and be calm and listen to yourself. Listen to your heart. This is the basic thing I wanted to share with you today. We are unstoppable. I urge you to continue irrespective of challenges. What I'm saying is what I do. I, I preach and I do. I was expecting beautiful guests in the studio today with us. They didn't show up, but the show goes on. Our lovely viewers, I care deeply about your well-being. Not just your emotional, your social, your financial. I care deeply about your well-being. And I urge you to stay on the light side of your journey. Let the light of the universe guide you. Do not fall into any depression. Do not despair. You are able, you are capable. You can achieve everything you desire in life. Be strengthened. Be hopeful. Be vigilant. I thank you very much for the time with us. And to you, our new viewers, don't forget to subscribe. Born for Victory, capital B, 
small letters O R N, four as in number four, capital V, small letter I C T O R Y, born for victory. We're also on Instagram as A Jacqueline. We're currently running a promotion of our t shirt. We have our link below with the Teespring link where you can get yourself a lovely Born for Victory t shirt. It was fantastic spending this moment with you, and we will be with you very soon. I love you deeply. I love you dearly. Keep warm and keep moving. Keep digging. Keep shining the light in you. Keep learning. Keep living. For life is for the living. You take good care of yourself. I love you again. Namaste.